Maintaining Tacoma streets and infrastructure is a long-term investment that pays back. Not only does it cost less to make smaller repairs early rather than having to pay for major repairs later on, but it supports safety, economic vitality within our business community, and quality of life for our residents. The city has a responsibility to its residents to maintain an extensive network of neighborhood streets, arterials, sidewalks, signals, and all the components that go into the city's transportation system to provide safe and reliable streets and roads. We've heard from citizens that they want the city to address driving conditions, and that shouldn't surprise us. We know from a survey of transportation network scores that the condition of Tacoma's neighborhood streets and arterials lags behind. In fact, Tacoma's transportation network score comes in at half of nearby and other comparable communities in Washington. It's because we spend less on basic maintenance than others. According to national ICMA data, we spend $17 on street maintenance per person, more than 40% below the national average. One option to provide more dedicated and sustainable funding for basic street maintenance and safety upgrades is Proposition 1, the 2% earnings tax on utility companies for Tacoma street improvements. If approved by voters, the measure would provide 10 to $11 million annually, sustainable funding to help address the backlog of needs. The additional 2% tax on natural gas, electric and phone company earnings is an additional expense to the utilities and will be considered in developing future utility rates. If the entire increase is passed along to ratepayers, the combined average cost would be less than $5 per month per household. However, in regards to Tacoma ratepayers, both the Utility Board and City Council are committed to exploring options to mitigate the impact. With the funds, the City would be able to double what it spends on roads, arterials, and bridges. The funds would be dedicated to providing basic maintenance and safety upgrades citywide. The sole purpose would be to address issues such as permanent pothole repairs, pedestrian safety improvements to crosswalks near schools, sidewalks and intersections, repaving neighborhood streets, and improved signal timing. If approved by voters, residents can expect to see many improvements within the first five years. The city would have the funding to make approximately 18,000 additional permanent pothole repairs, doubling what we do now based on current costs. And the city would be able to make your dollars go further by partnering with utilities to better coordinate construction, reduce costs, and minimize inconvenience to residents. The city would also restripe the entire road system center and turn lanes every year, instead of having to restripe every other year like we do now. Plus, this funding would provide a financial match to get more grants and help your dollars go even further. The work and improvements would benefit every neighborhood in Tacoma. You would see 46 school zones get safety improvements, such as required ADA sidewalk improvements and flashing beacons, completing this backlog safety feature at every needed school location in Tacoma. And 70 intersections would get traffic signal repairs to decrease congestion and keep traffic moving. The city would also have the funding to repave or resurface 510 residential blocks, again, more than doubling what we do now based on current costs. Plus, the city would have funding for the backlog of 12 neighborhood local improvement district projects where residents have already agreed to partner with the city and pay a significant portion of the cost. But is that what you want for Tacoma? Voters will decide. To have your voice heard, you must be a Tacoma resident registered to vote with the Pierce County Auditor's Office by October 7th. All active voters will automatically receive a ballot after they're mailed on October 18th. Ballots must be postmarked by November 5th, 2013 or dropped off at one of the several collection locations throughout the city by 8 p.m. on Election Day, November 5th, 2013. For additional information, visit the city's website at cityoftacoma.org slash prop1facts. And if you have a community group that would like to learn more, let us know and we'll make it happen.